Hey, what's up guys? Since Kevin one here and uh, it is May 17th, 2019 and that means that it is the 10th anniversary of Minecraft. Um, it came out 10 years ago, the first uh, classic version. And uh, Mojang has released this uh, 10th anniversary map. So I am just gonna hop right in and uh, check it out. I haven't seen this yet. Um, since thought I would record my uh, my initial reactions here. So let's hop right in. Oh, we're getting a resource pack it looks like. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. Here we are. Oh, we got some speed it looks like. All right. So we got our nice uh, starting area here. Nice big uh, build base. So this was put out by Mojang. Um, oh, we've got some golden minecarts. That's cool. Oh, 10 years, 10th anniversary themed minecarts. That's cool. All right, let's head on down here. All right, heading through uh, May 10th, 2009 pre-alpha. Yep. So this was before it was released. Halloween update added the Nether. Okay, so you got a nice history history lesson here. The adventure update. Yep. I think I've started playing. Oh no. Yeah, I I I, I was gonna say that I had started playing around there, but I missed it. Yeah. So yep, 2013 the redstone update. I remember all this. Even have some videos from back then. The bountiful update. Yep. That's around the time that I start. This is around the time that I stopped playing um, a bunch. There's a big uh, dead zone in terms of time here. Exploration update, and here we go. Yep, so just recapping all the major updates here. This is about the time that I started getting back into the game in 2018. Some friends. And uh, all right, so we had our nice little history lesson there. Reminding us the history of the game. All right, so the vault by the block works you do. Okay, I don't know this guy. You'll find every block in Minecraft safely under lock and key. Well, use a super secret six-digit code which you'll never guess. Now, what was it again? Um, I should really. How do you look at my Oh, okay. So there's the 17.509, right? Probably should have uh, not uh, revealed the answer to myself there. Kind of cheated, but I'd like to think I would have gotten it eventually. Okay, so we got a nice map here. That's cool. Um, biome domes, the academy, mob gardens, and museum of redstone. Okay. So let's just see what we can find out here. So what's this? What is this? Hop on this minecart, I guess. Alright, what do we got here? <laughs> Not quite sure what, uh. Thankfully, they disabled the minecart sound. <laughs> That's handy. Okay, so this is the Redstone Museum. Oh man, get lots of, uh, large scale recreations of different blocks. That's cool. Sort of reminds me of those videos that Seth Bling used to do of uh, recreating the functionality of blocks, but at a massive scale. It's kind of cool. Got a cave system here, and man, you know, it, it's it's cool that that Mojang would do this because not every not every company would. It's clear that whoever did this put a lot of uh, time and effort into it, and even though Mojang's a lot bigger as a company now, it's still you can tell that they actually care about the the game you know, it, was, it was a bit rough going there for a while but all right so we got a big nice big minecraft tree there um what else we got is this golden apple is that what this is 
Oh man. Okay. It's up here. Is this a parkour parkour stage? Looks like it. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. It's kind of like a like a Ooh. Minecraft playground almost. Oh, we got some slime blocks. Okay. Oh nope. Okay, I guess I have to bounce off of those <laughs> from up uh, up above. All right. <laughs> I'm not very good at parkour, but uh, not very good at all. Let's see if I can make it to the top. I, I I can't imagine this would be very difficult. Doesn't look like it. So. Oh. Okay, I got some. Ah. Okay. Oh, down there. Nope. All right. So this is all right. Just kind of want to get an overview of all the things. Okay, so we had our. Uh... To the northwest, golden apple. Okay, I want. I want to see. I want to see the other things going around, going on around here. I'm gonna head over this way. See what kind of stuff we got. Oh, cool! Okay, I want to see what what this text says. Can I uh, grab sheets on? Oh, there we go. A skeleton popped out. Finger licking. Matt Damon, the Matt. Oh, so these. Oh, okay. So these are the uh, the splash text. Cool. This text is hard to read if you play the game at the default resolution, but at 1080p it's fine. Well, okay. Well, jokes on you because I'm running it at 4K and yeah, it looks fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got a nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep going around in creative mode. This is for ease of travel. All right. So you got a cool Steve in a minecart here and Alex over there. That's cool. Got a bunch of cool large scale builds here. Um, now what do we got over here? What's this big build? We got um, trying to see where the entrance is supposed to be. Someone clearly put a lot of time into this. I wonder if they recruited like community. Ten years, okay. Wonder if they recruited someone like Green or something like that from the community, one of the main builders, or maybe they just have someone on staff who does this. I don't know. All right, what do we got here? Redstone Museum. Marlo, um, super hasn't been. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. So you have to test your your redstone skills. Oh, so we have like oh, I see. So like like here we have a simple and gate. So like this was one of the very very first things that people figured out with redstone that you could do is like this is an and gate, and you have to uh, um both both the inputs have to be true for the output to be true. So it's a simple logic gate. Yeah, okay, so starting with the simple machines. Okay, and then you got a comparator. You have to fill the thing up. Okay, so they're they're testing your knowledge of redstone. I'm not the best ever at redstone, but um, I'm not going to bore you guys by working. Oh, wait, is this a TNT cannon? Is that what this is? Oh, no, it's an elevator. That's cool. Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys by trying to work my way through all these puzzles, but... I like to think I could get it eventually. Um, they should get Seth Bling to do that. Actually, yeah, they should get someone like Seth Bling or Mumbo Jumbo to <laughs> to fiddle around with these. This is all cool stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I used to fiddle around with redstone back in the early days, but then uh, um, I just got rusty, so. All right, what else we got? So there's the redstone museum. All right, what do we got over here? What is this? So we got some snow blocks, and is this like a sort of like that uh, giant galaxy from Mario? Okay, getting some chunk rendering issues here. 
F3A? Yeah, F3A. Let's reload everything. All right, okay, so this is the... Oh, this is that, that biome dome thing they were talking about. Okay. Got some villagers. Oh, do they have the classic... Oh, they don't have the classic blacksmith house. That's one of the things that I missed, because with 1.14, they updated the villages, and they removed the the classic blacksmith house. Um, I really missed that. And so we got some... Looks like we're showcasing a bunch of the different biomes in the game. I wonder, do these... Oh wow, they even bothered to like actually update the biome data in the in the game. Now, that, now that's attention to detail right there. Yeah, as I hop into these areas, it actually updates the biome. And you can't really tell because I, I have a custom uh, resource pack on here that changes the grass color. Um, but yeah, okay, so that's cool. So we got the biome dome. Oh man, we got even more splash text here. Oh wow. Oh wow, we got a lot of splash text. <laughs> All right, is this another parkour challenge over here? Let's see. Oh yeah, another parkour thing. All right, I'm I'm just use creative mode and see what's at the top. Um, enchanted golden apple, nice. Man, this must have taken a long time to build. Man. Oh, we got some grass texture. Oh, and some giant sugar cane. Now this is the, now this is just cool stuff. The 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 huge block recreations. Now it's just cool. Got even more biome dome stuff over here. Got some savanna going on. And uh Alright, now what's over this way? I haven't seen it. Oh, okay, we got some enchanting table text there. It's cool. Standard galactic, galactic alphabet. If you didn't know this, uh the uh, the enchanting table text in Minecraft it's based on this uh, this fictional alphabet the standard galactic alphabet um, it's put in there by Notch but um, it doesn't actually do you much good because um, it's just gobbledygook if you translate it but still it's a cool detail so you got a big enchanting table here um, let's see what's inside okay so oh so this is another puzzle yeah I'm not gonna not gonna waste waste you guys time by uh, you can if you want to solve the puzzles you can download the map for yourself and go solve them. I just want to check it all out here. So what do we got here? Is this the vault they were talking about? Got a cool lounge area here. But what's uh what is the function of this building? I'm guessing this is probably the vault they were talking about. I'm just kind of breezing through this in creative mode, so I'm probably missing a bunch of key clues here. But, um. Education. Okay, yeah, so it's being. Minecraft is an educational tool. History and culture. Nice. So they're talking about Minecraft's application for education, which is always a cool thing. I mean, I'm old enough that it was never used in my school, but. Robot. Whoa! This is a new block. Didn't know that this was a thing. Oh, wow. Now that's fancy. I must have missed an update. I didn't know that these were a thing at all. Now that's neat. Huh. I did not know that that was a thing. Over six million rays, block by block. Oh, I, I did remember hearing, reading something about this. Yeah. Cool stuff. So this is, I guess, community projects and all that sort of stuff, I guess. Now this is just... Man. It's amazing. All the different ways that you can play this game. We got some more splash text over there. Uh, let's see, is there anything we haven't seen yet? Oh, I don't remember seeing that building yet. Let's go hop over there. Oh, <laughs> 10 year anniversary hedge maze down there. Oh, look, they got all the spawner eggs. Oh, look, that is real cool. 
got all these spawner eggs. That's cool. All the different eggs. I remember when there were only a few of them. And then now they're now if you look at the list it's there's so many eggs, but I remember when they were just a handful. When they first added them back in 1.1 I think. And they added spawn eggs. Alright, what do we got up here? What is up this way? Alright, what's this? Mob gardens. Oh man. This would look amazing with shaders. I'm running in 1.14, so there's no Optifine out for it yet, but this would look amazing with shaders. Okay, we got some donkey and... Alright, so we got some various mobs here. This is sort of a showcase. I guess they're using armor stands probably to keep them hidden and locked in place there, but... Guys, you get to see all the different mobs in the game. There's some pretty stunning architecture above here. Man. Wow. Oh, okay, so we got some hostile mobs this way. Enderman and... Oh, wow. So many things. I'm sure there are so many Easter eggs in this map. I just don't have time to find them all. Um... Oh man. Oh, I remember. I remember when spider jockeys were like the like the coolest thing. Like you'd read on the wiki about how spider jockeys were a thing and then finally one day you'd see one. I remember when I saw my first spider jockey. So cool. Cuz like back then riding mobs, like mobs riding other mobs like wasn't like a real feature. It was like unique to skeletons riding spiders. Alright, well, let's see if there are any, uh, any other cool things to, to check out in this map. I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch of Easter eggs that I'm glossing over, but... Oh, is there a second floor to this? Got some stained glass mob faces there, including the classic creeper face. Oh, man. It just goes on and on and on. Oh wow. It's been 10 years. Okay, redstone circuit board mock up, it looks like. Wow. It's just amazing. Oh, uh, well. Let's head uh, back o over to the vault here. I haven't explored that fully yet. Um, wow. This is pretty cool. You know, it's... It's been a long time and... You know, I, I bought the game back in... When did I buy it? It must have been... It must have been 2011? Maybe 2010. It was definitely before... So I started playing in, my first version was beta 1.5.5, I started playing, and I, uh, I heard some kids talking about it at school, and I, I convinced my parents to buy the game for me, it's 20 bucks, that's 20 bucks ever spent, I'm still using the same account, almost. Eight years later, so I've been playing for eight years. Man. Wow. Mm. This is cool. So many, uh, so many memories in this game. You know, I, uh, I, I thought about making some classic Minecraft Let's Play videos for this, but never got around to it so guess this will have to do but uh, man happy 10 year anniversary minecraft and uh... my name's students came in one and i guess it's about it then goodbye <laughs>